Hi guys. I'd just like to introduce you to my bird Thor. This is Thor. Say hi Thor. Pretty bird. He's a pretty bird. He's a pretty bird. Yes, this is my best friend, my buddy. He's Henri. He likes to make a lot of noise in the background while I'm doing my videos. He knows I'm talking about him right now, so he's being quiet. I just thought I'd introduce him to you guys. He's a beautiful bird. He keeps me company, especially while we're all stuck inside from the coronavirus. So, meet Thor. Say hi, Thor. He's not going to talk right now because I'm pointing the camera at him. But anyway, stay tuned. Getting ready to do my next video. So, I hope you enjoy all these projects. I hope you're having fun. And uh, I will see you soon. and girls welcome to my home in your packets this week I included some embroidery thread so grab that you should have four or five pieces we are going to do friendship bracelets today so I'm going to show you how to do a basic design those of you who have been in my art room probably know how to do this design already so feel free to hone up your skills get your stuff ready um, like I said, all you're going to need are the embroidery floss, piece of tape, and your imagination. We're going to get ready to tie some friendship bracelets. So get your stuff ready and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so the first thing we want to do is take and make sure all of our strings are even on the end. You want to leave enough that you can tie it at the end. So we're gonna do again, we're gonna tie a little knot. We're gonna make a circle. We're gonna push all these up through the middle of the circle and pull them tight. Make sure you've got all the colors in there. Okay, and then we're gonna pull it tight. Make sure you've got a good knot on there. And then we're gonna take it and we are going to tape it to the table so that it makes it easier. So it doesn't matter which one you start with. You want to spread out your strings. I like to get mine in order, in the order that they're coming out of the knot. The first thing we're going to do is take the first string. You're going to make a figure four shape. Hold on to your second string. Take it up through the middle. You're going to tie one knot. Take it all the way up to the top. That's one. And then we're going to do a second knot. That is two. Then we're going to lay that string aside. We're going to use the same color. We're going to tie a knot onto the next thread and then another knot. So you're doing two knots on each one. Okay. And we're going to grab our next string. My next one is the pink. And we're going to do the same thing on there. We're going to tie one knot and we're gonna tie a second knot. And then on the last string, we do the same thing. So we tie one knot, holding tightly onto your bottom string, the green one in this case, I hold it tightly here, slide that knot up to the top. Okay, that is our first row. Now we come back over to the other side. We're done with the white. Now we're gonna take the black and we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna tie one knot here and then we're gonna tie a second knot. We're gonna do the same thing all the way across. Make sure you're holding your string tight that you're tying onto. And there we go. We go on to the green string. That's one. That's two. Make sure you put two knots on each one. Okay? And then on to our white string. So there's one. And there's two. I'm going to add a little bit more tape to that just to hold it down better. Okay? Now we go. You're always working from the outside across. So we're gonna take our orange string. Now we're gonna put two knots with this one. There's one. And there's two. Then we go on to the green string. There's one. And there's
there's two. Now we go on to the next one. There's one. Slide those knots all the way up to the top by holding this string tightly. And then our final color onto the black. So there's one. I am using a little bit bigger string so that you can see it better in the video. Okay, so yours will be a little neater than this. As you can tell, we're starting to see the pattern. So we go ahead and grab our next string, which is the pink. Hold the green one tight. Tie two knots around it. There's one. There's two. Go on to your next string. Make sure you're keeping your string straight so you don't get them confused. That's why I gave you different colors so that you can see the pattern emerging. Then we go on to the black. There's one. There's two. And then the orange is our final color this time. So there's one, there's two. This is a very simple friendship bracelet to make. It's just the basic pattern. We're gonna start now with our green. This is our final color. And then the pattern will start repeating itself again. So there's one and there's two. We're gonna do it on the black string. So there's one. There's two, go on to the orange string. Your colors may be different. I just kind of put some strings in everybody's bag, color choices, I just kind of threw them together. So if you have some embroidery string or some yarn or some string, you can do this with any kind of string. Just make sure you're using different colors so that you don't get confused as to where you are. As you can see, our pattern is starting to show. So continue doing that. We go all the way down until we run out of string. We want about the same amount of string on the other side so that you can tie it to. So you guys get busy on that. Come back and we'll see how we did. Okay, this is the last row I'm going to do so that I end with the same color that I started with. And as you can see, my strings are getting shorter and I need enough left over to be able to tie it, right? So we do our two knots on each string. That's one. That's two. As you can see, my white string, because it's the one I started with, has become very, very short. Two, and my last string. That's one, and that is two. So then what I'm gonna do, release my tape. You can do that easily by pulling up on your strings. To make it even, I'm gonna go ahead and put a knot on this side. So you go ahead and pull all your strings through. Right up through the center. You need to make sure you got all the colors. Sometimes it's a little hard. That's okay. And the white. And slide it down and pull it tight. We got something going on here. There we go. Pull it tight. Now, as you can see, it looks like a beaded little bracelet. So, once again, we're going to pick our longest string. I'm going to choose a black one this time. We're going to make sure our knots are tight. You're going to trim the ends off. 
above the knot, making sure not to cut the one that you're saving. And there you have it. Then we have a beautiful bracelet that we can tie around our wrist. I hope you've had fun doing this one. Keep being creative, keep making your art, keep doing jewelry. Um, if you have some string around the house, you can practice these with other string as well. Just make sure that you use different colors so that you can tell them apart. Okay? And there you have it, boys and girls. Our bracelet is complete. I've taught you how to do a beaded bracelet and now how to do a knotted bracelet. So, you should be able to make some bracelets for your friends and family. Let's have fun with it. Make sure you upload your pictures so I can see how your bracelets turned out. I'd love to see them. I'd love to see your creativity. I miss you guys. I love you. I can't wait until we can all be back at the club. I hope you're enjoying this series, Artastic Time with Miss Fawn. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the fun videos. I love you guys, and until next time. Mwah.